And Vicki, I'm going to start with you. I have to tell you, number one, I didn't see this coming. Number two, I was never among the cynics that said this wouldn't work. And number three, I'm actually pretty bummed out by it. I know. You know what? It is disappointing. I think everyone was really rooting for them. They seemed like they were really in love. And they have this beautiful daughter that we're always watching and grow, you know, seeing her grow up. So, yeah, and to have this news come out right before the holiday weekend is very interesting. That's always very suspect because what happens is often these kinds of stories will break right before people are going on break. The news cycle slowed down. People aren't watching as much mm -hmm. television. And hopefully, for the stars' sake, they're, they're thinking, and maybe it will get less attention. Mm -hmm. But really, when you think about it in the grand context of this couple, today's divorce news, such a far cry from that infamous day six years ago. Tom Cruise, excited as we had ever seen him, he had just begun dating Katie, and he jumped famously on Oprah's couch. Well, this is interesting, Tom. We've never seen you behave this way before. I know. <laughs> Have you ever felt this way before? For the record, I was among the few that never held that against Tom Cruise and didn't think he was out of his tree because he did that. But I, I was pretty much alone with that, I guess. Of course, that was then, and this is now, Carlos. Were there any clues as to why Katie decided to file for divorce and what, if anything, actually went wrong? Well, you know what? It, it, this is a huge shocker because we talked to uh, Tom a few weeks ago in an exclusive interview in the magazine, and he was talking about how much he loved Katie. He talked about his family. He seemed pretty satisfied and even talked about his 50th birthday. But what's interesting is that we haven't seen them photo together yeah. in a few months. And this is a couple where we saw them together all the time. She was at every premiere, and she wasn't at the, any of the Rock of Ages premieres. And, and Tom's statement this afternoon acknowledged that Katie was the one who filed for divorce. This is what his rep tells Showbiz Tonight. Tom is very sad about it. And that kind of makes me sad hearing that. I, I like Tom. I like him a lot. Yeah. I think he's a, an affable guy. Yeah. Vicky, when you hear yeah. him say that, though, does it seem to you that maybe he's suggesting he might fight it? Yeah, I mean, either fight it, didn't see it coming, was blindsided. I mean, probably knowing that there's things in the marriage that are going wrong and Katie perhaps isn't happy. But apparently she's gone. I mean, she's leaving him. She's filing for divorce or filed for divorce um, under a, a secret name. And you know what? He's probably really upset. So I think there could be a battle, and I think it's going to be over sorry if it's not over money. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see if we ever do know what the real story was here, what it was about, because if it was her filing mm -hmm. and him sad, you know, there's obviously something at play here. And, and one thing we do know, and Carlos, you mentioned we haven't seen him photographed together recently, right. is that Katie was not standing by Tom's side recently when he was promoting his new movie, Rock of Ages. In fact, when Showbiz Tonight spoke with Tom at the film's premiere, we actually joked with him about which rock star he'd like to kiss, and here's what he told us. What rock star, a past living from any period, and there's, you know, you got Stevie Nicks, Debbie Harry, we got so many gorgeous rock stars out there. Which rock star would you most love to have shared that kiss with? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know which one. No? I don't know. Oh, I don't know, man. Do I don't, oh, whatever, do know. Yeah. Regardless of what's happening, he still has perfect teeth. Uh, you would never know, by the way. You listen to Tom's response there, you see the big smile on his face. And he's a true professional, but we never could have known, seeing him at the premiere, that anything was wrong in his marriage. But, of course, Katie wasn't there to support him. And, and Carlos, that really is a far cry from what we used to see. She was always present, it seemed, prior to maybe earlier this year. We always saw them out on the red carpet. I mean... I don't like to read into that stuff because they're both working actors, but did you take that as a sign that something was wrong? Honestly, yes, because when, when, when Tom and Katie, when they first married, you didn't see her without him. You know, there are photos of them, like I said, uh, she attended every premiere. She, she was a doting mom, a doting wife, and she, her career sort of took a, a small backseat as well to his because she was always supporting him. And there were the naysayers right from the start, Vicky. I mean, that's one of the things that always disturbs me when any celebrity couple gets married yeah. right from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Oh, it'll never last. Mm -hmm. And I, right. again, I hate being cynical about these things. Mm -hmm. I really believed in it with mm -hmm. these guys this time, but they proved the cynics to be correct. It, it, it bared out. Did, did you look at the fact that they weren't seen together very often over the past many months that uh, maybe some trouble in paradise? Yeah, I'm always following, obviously, these stories and celebrity breakups. And what was interesting to me is that she wasn't beside him at this newest premiere, and they're trying to garner so much publicity. And, you know, I think people are always saying, you know, when somebody's getting uh, having a child before they actually get married, that it's doomed from the start, and maybe they were just taking their time. So I don't know exactly what was what their mindset was to wait until Sori was born, you know, before she was pregnant, right. then they got married. So I think everyone was always saying there was a huge age Age difference. Nobody really thought this was going to last, but you know what? You always want that fairy tale. You know what? Everyone seems to really like Tom Cruise. 
uh, other than that couch jumping incident, which you said, you know, you didn't <laughs> yeah, get affected. Didn't know the but you know what? We all want them to last. And you know what? This is really unfortunate because she's the one leaving him. I don't know what's going well, on. Well, a lot of the rumblings have been, and, and they're, they're just rumblings mm -hmm. that, you know, Tom didn't want to have more kids. And in mm -hmm. fact, when he spoke with People Magazine just a couple of weeks ago, he told people he didn't plan on having any more kids, at least at the moment. Here's what he said. I'm so happy with three, enjoying every second with Surrey that I have, enjoying the relationship with my older kids and the way it is right now. Um, okay, his 50th birthday is in Iceland where he's shooting a new movie. That's coming up, Carlos. Any chance you see Katie showing up for that at this point and things being civil? I mean, who knows? I mean, the fact that we haven't seen her, it's this could actually get pretty nasty. There are reports out there that she's uh, trying to she's seeking sole custody of Suri. So who knows uh, what the situation is? They're asking to respect their privacy.